fin in the golf ball, what a nightmare when you catch halfway up the equator. Watch this video, this will sort you out. Did this last year at Cardona Golf Club for Bunkered Magazine. Just thought I'd fire it up, it's just about to start snowing. So, let's get a video posted. Right, we're on, my name's Steve Johnson. Today we're going to try and get rid of some bad shots in golf. And um, what we're talking about today is we're talking about the thin when we thin the golf ball, so using leading edge of the club, this front section here, hitting golf ball there, so the leading edge of the club is in line with or above the equator of the golf ball, and we thin it. That is lack of control of low point. And when I say low point, I mean the club makes a radius, club swings in an arc, okay? So controlling low point, so the center of the low point, let's say it's there, Okay, now when we can't control low point golf balls here, we and low points pre impact and start coming back up, that's when we get that bad shot. We'll also get a chunk. But if we miss the ground and we come back up, that's when we get the thin ball. And if you've got an 80 yard pitch, 70 yard pitch, and you do that, you're 120 yards, you're 40 yards through the green. Good maths, that. And you're in trouble. Okay, so you need to be able to control low point. Controlling low point is what's going to eradicate this thin. Let's do this. The reason low point is pre-impact. Club comes back, up to the top. When they come down into impact, your sternum, your centre, swing centre, is behind the golf ball. Your right leg's behind the golf ball, right foot, shoulder, arm, everything is behind the golf ball. Head, which is a heavy mass, that's behind the golf ball. Here, it's all an attempt to try and help the golf ball into the air. So when we get behind the golf ball, wherever the swing centre or our centre of gravity is, is where the golf ball or where the club is going to create its low point. So if I move back, I'll exaggerate this, my ball position is here, and I move this far back, my centre here is where I'm going to make the low point, and I'll come back up and hit a, hit a thin. That's a thin one. Let's go down the line, back, hitting thin. Perfect thin. <laughs> to get rid of thin, we obviously need to move our swing centre forward of the golf ball, so it is the low point of the swing arc is post impact. So we need to take our address position. At impact, they come down. The only thing behind the golf ball now is my right shoulder and right foot. At impact, hands are ahead, shafts leaning forward, weights ahead, sternum's here. So low point's going to be here. I'll hit ball, low point will be there, move away. So low point will be after impact. I'll hit ball, divot will be after impact. That's how you control low point. You've got to get the swing centre, your mass, ahead of the ball at impact. It's the only way you'll get rid of that thin. Any attempt to help the ball into the air, thin. Thin. Behind. Ow. Pure strike. Let's do a little drill. Let's take, if you've got little wedges and you get your weight forward, 70% of your weight on your left, keep it there. As the club goes backwards, your weight stays left. So now at the top of your swing, you're stacked more on top of the golf ball. There's more weight on the left side, your centre's on top of the golf ball. It stays there as the club goes backwards, it stays here. As the club comes down, it moves forward towards target like it should do anyway, and then through past impact. So divots after impact. So let's get in position. 70% of my weight's on my left foot. It's going to stay there as the club goes back. It's going to stay there as the club comes through. Brilliant. Ball was here. Divot's after. And the divot, the low point of my divot, is in line with where my swing centre was at impact. Guys, it's all about making the bad shots better. If you like the videos, please subscribe. Also, see that button? button? Click that. Like.